Are you sure your sister is meeting us here, Shellington? I don't see Pearl anywhere. I tweak. Pearl's been doing field work here in the Bauaviesia forest. She should be here very soon. Oh, wait! There she is! Hi, Tweak! Hi, Uncle Shellington! <laughs> I brought my own gum M! I made it myself! Oh. <laughs> oh. She did a nice job there, Perry! But maybe you'd like to give your mom a break from your toy? Oh, that's all right, little brother. It makes a lovely back scratcher. <laughs> but come over here. I want to show you something. Oh, hoof prints. That's strange. It's much too large to be a deer. <laughs> Actually, it looks like... Bison hoof prints. I know. But I've only ever seen them in North America. Ah, according to the creature collection, there is a creature in this part of Europe called a weasant. A weasant? Aye, it's a European cousin of the North American bison. What's it look like? Uh, well, I'm not sure. I've never seen one, so we don't have a picture of it in the creature collection. But we do have a picture of the North American bison. They're enormous creatures with sharp horns. Sharp horns? <laughs> yes, dear, but there's nothing to be scared of. Like many other animals, they have horns to defend themselves. But otherwise, they're very calm and peaceful creatures. Although they can be quite dangerous when they're scared. So, what would scare a weasant? Not much, really. They don't have any predators. Oh, well, except for the occasional brown bear. But that would be very, very rare. Right, Uncle Shellington? What? Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> very rare. <laughs> now, let's see. According to the creature collection, bison spend most of their day just roaming and resting and eating. So weasants probably do too. Looks like something took a nibble out of this here tree branch. Aye. Eating stems, fruit, bark, and other things high up is called browsing. But bison only graze on plants that are low to the ground. Then maybe it was a bear. Hold up. I hear something rustling. And snorting. Over there in the forest. Oh, is it a bear? No, dear. It's probably just a gentle wascent. Bears don't leave hoof prints like this. Just sit right here. Look, these hoof prints are different from those of bison. According to the creature collection, bison hoof prints would be closer together. Animals with longer legs usually leave hoof prints that are farther apart. So whatever made these prints probably has longer legs than a bison. There's that noise again, and it's getting closer. Where's Periwinkle? A Periwinkle? I think I hear him that away. We need to find him. Shush, 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 shush. I know you're scared, little guy, but you shouldn't squawk. We try and keep quiet down here on the forest floor. Why do you need to keep quiet? <laughs> Because jaguars slink through the branches, hunting for tasty snacks, and it looks like I found one! <gasps> oh, wow! He's fast! <sighs> oh no! We're trapped! <laughs> would be the Terra Gub 5. I based it on a centipede. It can crawl over, under, around, and through just about anything. Hello, Min. Inky, what are you doing here? <laughs> you said I should see the rainforest for myself. Don't be afraid, little one. <laughs> there, all better. <laughs> oh, my, he really likes you, Peso. We still need to get him back to his parents. I reckon the Terracup 5 can handle the climb. Hold on tight! <laughs> Terracup 5 has powerful traps. They can grip down on the tree trunk or just about anything you want to climb. Ah, here's where the river dries out. Just like Min said. Aye. It's all dried up trees, logs, and. Yow! I've got mud all in me boots! Barnacles to Dashy, what can you see from the air? We can see everything, Captain. There's not a cloud in the sky. And that's the problem. No clouds means no rain in the rainforest. 
From up here, we can see trees drying up and a long row of bare branches that should be leafy and green. And look, that's where the river used to be. We'll keep circling so we can see how much of the forest is affected. Thanks, Dashie. This river brought water to a lot of trees in this part of the rainforest. Now those trees and all the creatures that live in them are in danger. Cheaper, cheaper. Thanks, matey. Just the thing I need to scrape the mud off me boots. I'll just take a seat on this log and... Hey, get off of me. Yeah, shiver me whiskers, a haunted log. <laughs> I am no log. I am Caesar of the Cayman, sworn protector of this river, and I will defend it to the last. <laughs> or I would if I wasn't stuck in this here mud. Hang on, matey. We'll have you out of this mud in a jiffy. Leave the swamp to us, or we'll bite every last one of you. I'd like to see you try. A vast ye shock, scallywags. Try chomping these tasty treats. Hey, that's the tastiest thing I ever jumped. Hey, you guys gotta try these things. They're amazing. We got them hooked. Let's go. All right, the sharks are gone for now. And I can take you to a spot up river where they won't bother you anymore. But this is our home. Give me one good reason why we should follow you. Ha, I'll give you two reasons. One, the water here is salty and it'll make you sick. I think he's right, Big Bro. I still don't feel good. And two, I got a whole bunch of these. Huh? Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm starting to think that you might just be onto something, Ranger. Here you go. Eat up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Here, have one of these, little bro. It'll make you feel better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's working! If we can keep this up, Ranger Marsh will have plenty of time to lead the alligators to safety. Uh, there's only one problem with that, me hearty. What? We're all out of fish biscuits. Then we'll just have to improvise. Ooh, what's that thing? I don't know, but it looks tasty. Look out, Pony! Here they come! Oh, I need to go faster! Oh. How? He can't outrun those sharks for long! I've got to do something! I can't go any faster! But maybe I can be smarter! Hey, where'd it go? Oh, what? What? It's gone again! Oh, wait! Hey, it's behind us! Oh, 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 oh. Watch where you're going! Get your fin out of my face! Hey, look at me! Gotta keep going. But not through that. Ow. They didn't get me, but they got my Octo Watch! <laughs> That tasted terrible, but I bet you'll taste better. Huh? Ha 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 ha! A scallywags! Ah! Giant Peter! Whoa, 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 whoa. Thanks, Quasi. That was a splashing rescue. Keeper, keeper. Ah! Looks like they've come up with a new strategy, but will it work? It will be an uphill battle. Uh-oh, there's a slippery hazard up ahead. Good thing you didn't sleep on that banana peel. Banana peel. 
Come on, guys, you can do it! Don't give up! See? All they needed was a little encouragement. Uh-oh, too much encouragement. Looks like we gotta run away! <laughs> What's all the commotion? <laughs> And now the runaway is making a comeback! Goal! What happened? The little guys planted their tree! With a little help from your holes! Oh, glad I could help! Good day, Vegemals. We were wondering if you could use some help. Well, at least we can help you fix up the chair up five. Well done, Vegemals. Once again, we can have Coco to go with our morning kelp cake. <laughs> what? No kelp cakes? Looks like we're out of kelp. <laughs> All right, Coco will do. <sighs> oh dear, empty already. Uh, quicksand! Ha! Good thing I'm quicker, but I'd better keep moving before this desert eats me too. Huh. What's this? A rescue party? Hello? Over here! Who are you and what are you doing way out here? Uh, my name is Pani. I was trying to find water. Then you're going the wrong way, dear. Uh, but what about that lake? That? That is just an illusion. A mirage. It is not really there. Sometimes, when the sunlight reflects off the hot desert sand, it can ripple and look like water. No wonder I couldn't reach it. I've heard of mirages, but I don't spend much time in the desert, so I've never actually seen one before. So, there's really no water out here? Oh, there's plenty of water. You just need to know where to look. Stick with us, and we'll show you where to find some. Thank you, my new friends. I am most grateful. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. No sign of Pawnee here. Thanks for the update, Tweak. Keep searching. Oh, my goodness. It's toasty out here. But you camels seem so cool. Don't you ever get hot? Of course we do. But it doesn't bother us. We're built for the heat. Our humps act like a blanket to help protect us from the sun. We've also got three eyelids and two rows of eyelashes to shield us from the sand and glare. Oh, amazing! Oh, wait. I think I see something up ahead. You're right. That's where we'll find water. Here, try some. Thank you. Ow! It's full of thorns. Yes, but there is water in the leaves. Oh, of course. But how can you eat this with all these thorns? Our lips are thick and tough, so thorns don't bother us. We are used to eating them. Unfortunately, I'm not. Still, if there's water in those leaves, it must be coming from somewhere. <laughs> What's she doing? Ah, hello, H2O. You were hiding down there all this time. H2O? Yes. That's the scientific word for water. Oh. How did you know it was there? Plants need water to live too. This plant's roots draw water up from under the ground. I knew if I dug down far enough, I'd find some. Very clever. Would you like a sip? 
No, thank you. Those plants probably need it more than we do. And we need them to be here the next time we come through. Are you sure you got enough water? We camels can make a little go a long way. Besides, there's a nice big oasis not far from here. I can't wait to see it. Keep them coming, you guys! Dinner! Ready, Tweak? Ready, Quasi. Now! Ship shape. Oh, look at this place. It's a mess. And I'm still hungry. I know you didn't mean to damage this ecosystem, Carl. But all that grass you ate was helping to hold the shoreline together. Now it's crumbling into the river. Oh, well, nothing I can do about it now. So I guess I'll just go where there's more food. Hooray! He's leaving! And good riddance. I'm afraid there's nothing good about it. Carl will just keep eating his way up the river and into the Great Lakes. Hey! I'm stuck here! Somebody give me a hand! Oh, maybe I shouldn't have eaten all that grass. Now do you see what you've done to this ecosystem, Carl? I guess I really did mess things up pretty bad around here. Well, matey, if you let us, we can help you. Carl, we know your home is in Asia. Would you like us to take you back there? There'll be just the right amount of food for you there. Right now, I'd rather be anywhere but here. OK, you've got a deal. There is still a problem, though. How do we get him out? Oh, maybe Periwinkle can lift him out, like before. Periwinkle? Now, where has he gone? Good work, son. Thanks, Mom. You know, this is maybe the most fun vacation ever. Here you are, Carl. Welcome home. Oh, I don't know about this. I used to be a big fish in a little pond. What if I don't fit in here? Hey, check it out, a new guy. Bit scrawny, though, isn't he? <laughs> hey, where'd he go? Boom! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> nice. You're going to fit in here great. We can show you where there's lots of grass to eat. Come on. Yeah, come on in, mate. Wow, you're going to love it. <laughs> oh, whoa. Wait till I tell the others about this. <laughs> it's a much easier way to fly. We should catch up with them soon. Not soon enough. I'm picking up a storm up ahead. It looks like a doozy. It looks like it's heading straight for the butterfly swarm. Everyone, take cover! Oh, somewhere! We butterflies protect ourselves from storms by clinging on to trees. But there's no trees around here. Maybe not, but what if we use the octo ray to shield them from the wind? Worth a try, but we'd better hurry, because that storm's turning into a full blown tornado. Activating turbo mode. <laughs> I declare! Is that you, little Tex? You need shelter. Follow us. Oh, don't have to tell us twice. Hang on, everybody. This maneuver's gonna be tricky. Partners, 
And thanks for saving us from that tornado. It was quite an adventure for all of us. But now we're heading for Mexico. Care to join us? Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Oh, this calls for a celebration. A fiesta! <laughs> Again, Octonauts. We couldn't have made it without your help. Have some milkweed. Oh, <laughs> if it's all the same to you, I think we'll stick to our leftover kelp chili. Suit yourself. <laughs> Yippee! It sure is a spooky looking night out there, Grandad. Hi, Quasi. A perfect night to be sailing the high seas in search of the legendary Mystery Island. Ah, uh, Mystery Island? Uh, Mystery Island? According to pirate lore, Mystery Island is like another world. Another world? You mean an island stranded in outer space where pirates go to dig up sparkly moon rocks? Oh, and I bet it's guarded by invisible aliens that spew poisonous red ooze that can melt anything in its path! <clears throat> Not sure about that part, Quasi. Uh, 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 what is it, Pete? Uh, Rogue Way! Hang on, mateys. When the wave goes high, we go low. Are you sure about this, Grandad? As sure as a pirate can be, Quasi. So, pretty sure. You mateys all right? Yeah. Oh, another wave! The windshield! Brace for impact! <laughs> Where are we? Oh, you're awake. I usually prefer my meals a little less lively. What? Guess I'll just have to crack open this egg I found. Well, in all my years sailing the seven seas, I've never seen a bird use sticks and stones as tools before. Oh, that's nothing for an Egyptian vulture like me. Watch, I'll have this egg cracked open in no time. Uh, uh, maybe you'd like something tastier than an egg? <laughs> See, all it takes is the right tool. Wait, that's not my egg. Mmm. But it sure is tasty. Plenty more where that came from. We've got a whole stash on the gup R. Where is the gup R? That rogue wave must have washed her out to sea. You know what that means? No more yummy snacks for me. Worse, it means we're stranded. This place is full of strange alien trees and plants. Huh? And butterflies with eyes on their wings. Yeah! And that tree's alive! They're just snails, Quasi. What if that rogue wave launched us clear into outer space and Mystery Island is actually on a whole other planet? Right now, the only mystery about this island is how we get off it. Aha! Now I just need something to write with and we can send out a message in a bottle for help. This island is large with lots of beaches, and there are no signs of mice or other predators that would prey on the eggs. It's perfect! Oh, it looks like some other seabirds have already figured that out. Oh, what about the other side of the island? Lots of open space to build nests, no predators, and not overcrowded. Oh, now that really is the perfect albatross nesting ground. Captain, we found a new nesting ground. Excellent, but hurry back. The storm's almost here, and now we have to protect an egg. An egg? On our way, Captain. <laughs> And not a moment too soon. I just hope we can last until Dashie and Pearl get back here. 
What do you mean, matey? Look at it. It's rock solid. Maybe solid enough for that wave, but they keep getting bigger. Octonauts, race the barrier. I hope Gashi gets here soon. What in the world is happening? The storm we were trying to warn you about. It's finally hit, Katie. Oh dear, we hate storms. Always, always have, have, always will. any paw prints in the sand. Of course not. Sand cats have special fur on our paws. It protects us from getting burned by the hot desert sand and from sinking down into it. See? No paw prints. Hmm. That little cat looks like a tasty treat. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like a sand viper. <gasps> Stay back, you scurvy snake. Or we'll... We'll... <laughs> oh, you'll what? Watch out! He's venomous! Leave this to me! Pesty sand cat! <laughs> Can't catch me! Yeah, well, I caught some of you! <laughs> Too slow again! Ah! <laughs> These cats are too much work. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. How'd you do that? Fighting off vipers is just part of being a sand cat. Otherwise, those pesky snakes would get into all of my food hiding places. Cost me one of my whiskers, though. You may be a small cat, but you're as tough as any pirate. Thanks. And you guys are almost as tough as any sand cat. <laughs> You need to stop Ernesto. There's a fungus in this stream that could make him sick. We'd better keep an eye out for Ernesto before he gets too close to the stream. Already after him. Hello. Oh, have you spotted Ernesto? No, this is a call for help. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I've got this. Ah, Ernesto, please stop. It's too dangerous. Don't you mean delicious? Do not worry, Bunny. Trout only eat frogs' eggs. I am much too big to fit in their mouths. <gasps> but not too big to fit into that coral snake's mouth. Uh-oh. Vamos! What a frog. Now there is a rare delicacy. <laughs> No, oh, that's disappointing. Perhaps this fish biscuit will make up for that. Mmm, tasty. Gracias, Bunny. Now you will take me to my new family. I'm afraid the water in your cousin's stream will only make you sick, mi amigo. But I have waited so long to meet them. I know, but don't worry. They're not going anywhere. I've got you! So sorry to drop in, Dashi. Are those my... Mis primos! Mis amigos! Amazing rescue. He's 
everyone all right? We are fine, Senor Pedro. I only wish we were not separated from our new cousin. I have waited ten years not to be alone. What is a few more days? Splashing news, my friends. Your stream is clean and free of fungus. And so are the water frogs. <laughs> Does that mean? It's time to welcome your new family into their new home. It is a very nice home, Ernesto. It is even nicer with company. Amazing! They never even knew each other existed before. And now it's like they've known each other all their lives. Kind of like when I met you guys. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, we're glad we found you too, honey. Barnacles. Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. 